Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are from group 4. In this topic, we are going to discuss about the pseudocode and the flowchart for a vending machine ran by a dry run. My name is Muhammad Yaksia Kamil. My name is Muhammad Rajal Safa Abdul Rafi Dalhats. And my name is Raska Biasanyofikar. We're going to the first subject. Yes. Background. An algorithm is a process or set of rules to be followed in calculation or other problem solving operation, especially by a computer. In other words, all logical arrangements that are ordered according to certain systematic and are used to solve a problem. Programming algorithms are step written secondly to solve computer programming problems. In simple programming, the algorithm is the first step that must be written before writing the program. Problem that can be solved by a computer programming are problem related to mathematical calculation. System analysis, system summary. We will describe how vending machine work through for chart and to the code. It seems like a vending machine work as easy as we talk, but actually a vending machine uses a various types of codes needed to function. In this topic, we wish use a flowchart and push the code and run by using a dry run. Number one, flowchart. Flowchart is a diagram that display the step and decision to carry out a process of a program. Each step, each step is depicted in the form of a diagram and is connected by a line or a row direction. The second is the code. The code is a simple way of writing programming code in English. The code is not actually programming language. It's, it uses short passes to write code for program before you actually create it in a specific language. Once you know what the program is about on how it will function, then you can use pseudo code to create statement to achieve the required result for your program. Three, dry run. A dry run is a testing process where the effects of a possible failure are intentionally mitigated. And we're going to move out for our flowchart. This is our flowchart of vending machine. We start by using a terminator, start, and we move down. We declare our declaration, which includes character C product name. We use an array for this. There is five array, which includes Fruity, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Nescafe, and Starbucks. And the second array is C payment. We use two array, which includes cash and cancel a purchase. There is the third array, an amount. There is five of it. It includes one, two, three, four, five to show how much we want. And there is numeric and total price and money. And the last array is and product price. There is five of it. 5,000, 5,000, 10,000, 10,000, and 20,000. We move down. We can see here there is a display select product. In this, in this process, we, uh, the consumer, are going to, to be displayed like this, select the product. If we choose the product name zero, it will connect to the end product price zero. And it goes, and it's the same goes for each five of it. So it means if we choose fruity, which is character C product name zero, it will connect to the end product price zero 
So it means fruity, the price is 5,000. Coca-Cola is 5,000. Pepsi is 10,000. Nescafe is 10,000. And the Starbucks, 20,000. We move down, so we choose the end product price. For example, I choose the Coca-Cola, so there it is the one, the end product price one. I choose, I accept one like this. We move down, it will display how much do you want. Let's say uh, I want one, so I have to choose the zero. I input zero like this. And and it processed and total price equals and product price multiple and amount one multiple one so i mean it is one is coca cola and the price is 5000 so uh, 5000 multiple one and then the total price is 5,000. It will next display the payment menu. Uh, if I choose the payment zero, if I choose payment zero, it will continue the payment. And if I choose the payment one, uh, let me erase it first so you can see it clearly. If I choose the payment zero, it will continue the payment by using a cash if i use if i choose the c payment one it will cancel the purchase okay move out we're going to the next flow chart it the first is accept c payment we move down we use the decision symbol if c payment zero which is continuing the payment by using cash if yes we are going to be displayed like this please complete the payment by entering the money according to the total purchase plus and total price so then total price will be displayed here you move down the cons the consumer will accept their money we insert the money move down if the money equals to the end total price it will display thanks for purchase and the drinks will be injected and it will it will end the flow chart if the money is an exact amount of the end total price let's say the end total price is five thousand and i insert two thousand so it will run this flow chart it will go to write the no. It will display the money is not enough. You must insert this nominal plus and total price. It repeats the process to the display symbol. It 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 wouldn't be done. This flowchart wouldn't be done if the consumer insert the false amount of money until the consumer insert the exact amount of the money then the flowchart will be done what if we go back to this what if i choose c payment one instead of zero it will go to no and display your purchase has been cancelled we can see here the one is cancel purchase so if we don't choose the zero of course we choose one your purchase has been cancelled and it will run to the end like that so we move out to sudoku we start we begin character c product name five we use this we use this topic with array and the product name five, pretty Coca Cola, Pepsi, Nescafe, Starbucks. The payment two, case, sensual per case, number and total price, 
and money and product price five five thousand five thousand ten thousand ten thousand twenty thousand and the month five one two three four or five in total price equals and product price multiple and amount so we next to begin display select product display c product name zero equals m product price zero display c product name one equals m product price one display c product name two equals m product price two display c product name three equals m product price three display c product name four equals m product price four except m product price display how much do you want display an amount zero display an amount one display an amount two display an amount three display an amount four except an amount and product price multiple n amount equals n total price display total price equals plus and total price display please select the payment menu Display C payment zero, display C payment one, accept C payment. We're going to if C payment zero, begin. Display, please complete the payment by entering the money according to the total broadcast, plus and total price, except in money, repeat, begin. If and money equals and total price, begin. Process selected product. Display. Thanks for purchase. And if not, we're going to else. Else. Begin. Display. Money is not enough. You must insert this nominal. Plus and total price. And. And until and money equals and total price. And else begin. Display your page. Your purchase has been canceled. Canceled. Why? Why this display your purchase has been canceled? Because if the payment zero, we have else to display your purchase has been canceled. If the payment one, we going move on to else. We don't use the begin to end in um, C payment zero. Else begin display your purchase has been canceled. And, and, and. So this is dry run for our program. This is main program. We have end product, end price, C payment, and output. We choose end product Nescafe. The price is 10,000. We payment use S and output thanks for purchase. If, if we choose end product Coca Cola, example, the Coca Cola. Um, and price 10,000 and we payment with cash and output forecast canceled. Why this, this is output forecast canceled? Because the Coca-Cola price is 5,000 rupiah. So the Coca-Cola is true and price is false. So payment is true and the output will be false. So we move out to stock in product star Starbucks. Starbucks is in price 2000, 2000 rupiah. We payment with credit card and output forecast cancel. This is true. Starbucks is true and price is true. And the C payment is false. 
why is false because we use the cash only not the credit card if the credit card must be forecast canceled so that's it uh, uh, in our program dry run and we next move up okay thank you for the attention uh i'm sorry if, if there is any mistakes from our presentation uh, if you have any question if you have any question you can ask it right away okay okay thank you and see you wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh